Oh my goodness, we're tackling a tough subject this morning because we all have a boss. Well, I guess some of us are self-employed, but how do you tell if your boss is unhappy with you? Maybe you're just not in a good situation here. Diane Gottsman is here with the Protocol School of Texas, and she's going to give us some signs, and maybe you could give us some pointers, too. If your boss is unhappy with you, maybe you could kind of help us turn it around. It's great to see you this nice morning. Nice seeing you. And you know, we all have a boss. Even if we are self-employed, our clients are our boss. Oh, that's so a you good know, point. This applies to everyone. Okay. All right. So let's talk about, I know you brought kind of some pointers here. If your boss stops just personally asking you for your professional opinion. opinion. Okay, and so let me preface this, yes. Carrie, by saying, you know, this isn't the protocol of what a boss should do. This is actually not the protocol, but we all are humans and this is human nature to kind of back up. So these are just telltale signs. Yes. Okay. So if he or she stops asking your professional opinion. Well, it could be nothing. If it's just once or twice, they could be preoccupied or, you know, distracted. But if it's consistent, it's a good sign, an indicator that they are not trusting or valuing what you have to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even yeah. the simple tasks are being delegated to other coworkers. Now, they could be grabbing someone quick and saying, uh, would you mind doing this? Right. But again, it's consistency. If they start looking at you and then going somewhere else, that means that something's wrong. So, you know, you, the tip is you have to look and ask yourself, am I giving them my 100% best work? Am I an ambassador of the company? Am I giving thoughtful, informed information feedback? So it's your job. It's our job as an employee yeah. to do our homework, too. That's and make yourself available for yes. those last minute tasks or and, whatnot. And if they're not asking you, jump in. Say, listen, you know, I know that you're involved in this project and you haven't asked me, but I would love to present a few few tips for you, know, a few ideas for you. Back to that whole human nature side of being a boss. When they stop, I don't know, including you in special snacks, or lunches, or a quick coffee run, then you know oh, something's not right. You know, and that sounds so silly, except it's so true. Because, you know, this is why I made one of those bullets, that bullet, because we want to be treated, that we want to treat people the way that we are treated, yes. vice versa. And you know, in an office, especially a small office, we bring in donuts, we bring in lattes, right. we bring in fun little treats. And when they stop, uh, <laughs> Or if you go to lunch consistently and yeah. do some work over lunch and all of a sudden that stops, that means that he or she is, is backing is up. Is backing up. Okay. Um, how about hiding in the office? When your boss <laughs> comes in and doesn't tell you you're there, <laughs> it kind of shuts the door behind them. Okay. Typically, <laughs> bosses want their, their immediate report to know, I'm here, I'm here, and I'm yes. ready to work. So, you know, I have one client that says he whistles. He does a happy little whistle right. to let everybody know, you yeah. know, to get off there, whatever they're doing. And somebody else, another client of mine says, she walks in and says, good morning, superheroes. You know, I think that's so sweet. But if they walk in, and it, you know, if I walk in and I shut my door, my assistant's name is Heather, and I shut my door, and I haven't done this to her, that just means, okay, I'm... I, I want to be alone. I'm going to figure this out on my own. You know, yes. so it's it's looking at the subtle signs. Well, we have to wrap. We've got more. Go to our website, myfoxaustin.com. But what is your easy button advice? <laughs> Just or if you feel like maybe things aren't going well with your boss, what do we need to do? Talk to him. Yeah. Make an appointment and say, I know things, it feels awkward, it feels funny, what can I do? So be proactive rather than reactive. That's good. Good stuff, Diane Gottsman. Uh, can be found, she has a lovely blog. We have that on our website, Protocol, Protocol School of Texas, where you can find her. Good to see you. So nice.